Cash is a very funny actor, comedian, writer, and now murder suspect alongside Tiffany Haddish in the new series, The After Party, which premieres Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Please say hello to Ike Barinholtz. <laughs> You're a musician, yeah, Ike. I dabble, I dabble a little bit. What's up, boys? How you doing? All right. Woo! How's it going? I'm so glad uh, uh, none of you are my kids. <laughs> no, I love them, I love them, I love them very much. You got much. three daughters, right? I got three daughters, and I was just telling Kay Bell, they better step it up and get Frozen 3 out there, because Encanto is lighting up the charts at the Baron Holtz household. It is my house, it too, is. yeah. Skyrocketing, and I want her to have an opportunity to to take them out. To real, yeah, I know. How many times have your girls watched Encanto? Oh, today? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We don't talk about we don't talk about Bruno, guys. That's the most <laughs> it's like Fight Club. Our youngest children, your daughter and my son, go to school together. Yes, and we have a. There's kind of a thing there. Talk a little bit about what it's like to drop your children off at the, at the school. Well, I think dropping kids off at any school is hell. No. It's, I mean, well, I mean, there's always some kind of line, and mm. it's in the morning, and yeah. I usually have to go to the bathroom, so I'm just, there's a sense of urgency, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was so sick of waiting in this line to drop my kids off, and this wonderful school, they mm -hmm. have a fundraiser every year, mm -hmm. okay? The money goes to the teachers, mm -hmm. okay? And there's certain things you can bid on, and one of them is a parking space. Now, there are five total parking spaces at the school. Yes, That's sir. it, right? Yes, and you sir. stay in them for as long as it takes you to get your kid out, the mask on, get him get in the school, yeah. get back in the car and go away. One of those spaces is, let me show um, a picture that I took when I was dropping my son Billy off. Ooh, One of those spaces says, <laughs> no, and the best space, by the way, no parking, Baron Holtz family only. Mm -hmm. Now, does this seem like a welcoming thing? Does this seem like good publicity for you? I think it's, gr I think it's great publicity mm -hmm. because it shows that if you work hard, solutions will present themselves. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, 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 the, 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 the worst was, you know, because there's this little bit of guilt in the morning when you're kind of just, there's like five, six cars waiting. You just kind of coast by everyone. There's only a little, really. I a feel little. like there should be more. Well, Because well, there's a lot of resentment, you know, on our end. And when I say our, I speak for all the other families oh, at the school. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I can't hear what they're saying, but, you know, I think they're... Well, this one morning in particular, I'm just kind of cruising by, trying not to make direct eye contact, but still enjoying it a little bit. <laughs> And uh, I kind of just blow past the last car that's about to turn in is, is this. Is... So you don't even wait in the line? You go right to your spot? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, I, the, money went, the money went to the teachers. I'm trying to help. Do you like teachers? That's right. They work so damn hard. So anyways, so I'm pulling in, and I kind of pass this uh, blonde lady in a Tesla, whatever, it's L.A. Uh-huh. And uh, I just kind of just cut her right off and just kind of pull in, <laughs> get out, and stretch, you know. And, and I look up and I kind of hear, hey, nice spot. And I look and it was uh, your wife, Molly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Works on the show, the, uh -huh. great, uh, the great Molly. <laughs> and uh, she's yeah. taking a photo of me <laughs> after I cut her off and I'm wearing a Jimmy Kimmel Live sweatshirt. Yeah, there you go. That's... <laughs> so... Yes, yes, I inconvenience you in the morning and you're angry, but I'm plugging the show, guys, and that's for all of you. We love this show, don't we? We love this show. You're, um, this, when I heard this news, I became very excited for you and for, real, for everyone, really. You're doing a movie with Nicolas Cage. Yeah, I'm doing a movie, yes. Crazy. When they called to offer you this job, did you even ask what the movie was? No. Or did they just say it's... It could have been a shot on one of his ring cameras, and I would have gone. <laughs> I love him. And, I, and we're, the first kind of day, the scene we worked together, I was all, all my lines were off camera. So then we would sit next to each other, and, and he just thought I was, you know, like an extra or just someone who wandered in off the street. You know? <laughs> and so then we got to do a scene together, and then he kind of opened up to me a little bit, and then I went in for the kill. And I was like, you know, first time I saw you was when Peggy Sue got married. 
And I thought, who the f is this guy? And that's when he comes alive. He goes, oh, 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 yeah, sure. So you're not he was like, talking to me. I talked back. You know, it was amazing. You've not been to his home to see his like Superman collection or anything. Not yet. Yeah, uh, yeah we were supposed to do it the other day, but there was a COVID thing. I don't know. Does he know you have your own parking space at the school? <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. No, he wouldn't like that. Oh, it's not. That's very elitist. <laughs> <laughs> the show you have. This is a series called The After Party. Yes, sir. And this is, a, I think, a very interesting, um, I don't know if this has been done before, where you have, well, you explain it. You've got the points of view of each of these different characters. It's a murder mystery comedy, and each episode is from the point of view of one of the suspects, and that episode is shot in the style that's appropriate for that suspect. So you got one guy who's kind of in love with this girl, and that's kind of shot like a rom-com. Mine is, I'm kind of a like a douche, so I'm in an action movie. Mm -hmm. um, so so I, I get to be a little bit me, but also a little bit Vin Diesel and a little bit Steven Seagal. Oh, no. oh wow. That's, that's a good, there you go. that's a yeah. crew, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that might be better than hanging out with Nick Cage, yeah. <laughs> we have a clip from the show. Do you need to set this up? Yeah, so uh, the, the victim mm -hmm. is uh, the great Dave Franco, who's playing this, this kind of pop star scumbag who gets murdered, and him and I have beef, and this is uh, our scene where we kind of see why we have beef. Here we go, the after party. Uh, I could do this for hours. Hey, watch me change pitch. I'm playing this urinal like a damn steel drum. Too bad you're not in Jamaica, Jack. Uh, yeah, you want loud? I need loud. Is that what you want? You want loud? Let's see what you got. Prick up your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, funny story. Uh, totally improvised. Uh, we were just doing that, and they started rolling cameras. Who else is in the show, right? Oh, we got, oh, my God, who is it? Sam Richardson, Ben Schwartz, Alana Glazer, the great Tiffany Haddish. You and Tiffany. We love Tiffany Haddish, don't we, folks? You're like Hall and Oates now. How many things have you done together? Uh, this is, I think, our fifth thing together. We're in the Nicolas Cage movie together. Oh, she's in that, too. She's in that, too. She's the greatest, because she... She does this bit where, like, like she kind of pretends to be the uh, assistant director, or as we call it in the business, the AD. He knows. He knows. He knows. Uh, and so, like, you know, we'll finish a scene, and she'll be like, okay, we're going to turn around, and then that is lunch. <laughs> and most people are like, <laughs> but there's always a couple guys that are like, oh, it's lunch. Okay. <laughs> she, she's in charge, right? <laughs> she's the best. Yeah, that's fun. Right. Well, it seems like everything's good. It's good, man. It's good. It's yeah. Good. You're doing what you want to do. I'm doing what I got to. You're I gotta, parking where you want to park. I park where I want to park. I hide in, uh, in souvenir shops. I'm going to get that parking spot from you at this year's auction. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> I'm ready for you. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> the teachers pull up in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Whoa, where did you get that? Well, you know, Kimmel and Barinholtz went real crazy this year. <laughs> Please. It's very good to see you. The After Party, Friday on Apple TV Plus. Ike Barinholtz, everybody. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.